Welcome to St Eugene's Cathedral here in Derry, the parish church of the diocese. And this week we're celebrating an annual event called Catholic Schools Week. I'd like to introduce you to some of our teachers and pupils in schools in this parish who are happy to reflect on their experience of Catholic education in 2020-2021. The Catholic school is a community living in Holy Communion. In this parish of St Eugene's, we're blessed to have five Catholic schools. St Mary's and St Joseph's are post-primary schools. St Anne's, St Eugene's and Rosemount are primary schools. It is from the wellspring of the love of Jesus for children that our school draws its life and enables us to make it a place where our little ones feel safe and cherished. We want them to feel respected understood and valued. We want our Catholic school to be a place where learning is a joy rather than a chore. I love my school and I love coming to school every day. The atmosphere is happy and celebratory. My teachers make me feel respected and valued and this encourages me to respect and value others. Because our Catholic school draws a sustenance from a centre, which is Christ, the prevailing culture throughout the school community is one of mutual caring, understanding, respect. Real learning thrives in such a culture. The student feels cherished and respected. I remember my first day at school. I was really scared. I didn't want to be there. I just wanted to be back home. But our teacher was really kind and friendly. In our school, teachers always emphasize the importance of kindness to others, the way Jesus was kind. Unkindness, like leaving people out of games at break time, or bullying, or mocking, it's just not allowed. Anyway, being nasty to others only makes you feel bad. Teachers as well as pupils find themselves in learning situations every day. They learn the need to renew regularly. They're fond of patience and understanding. They learn how to conquer frustration and fatigue. I hope that's given you some opportunity to hear how teachers, how pupils feel on the ground about what it is they're experiencing in their Catholic schools communities. I know things are difficult for very many people at the present time. I know we've all made mistakes in the past, but looking at how Catholic schools are geared up for the future, I'm so grateful for the witnesses and testimony of our teachers and of our pupils. Can I ask you to pray for them as they journey on, because we seek to serve only the common good and to help our wonderful young people become fabulous adults who are a blessing in Jesus' name in our society. So may Almighty God bless all that we do. May he make his face to shine upon us, be with us today and all the days of our lives. On Cahar, on Mac, Agus, and Spirit Neve. Amen. God bless you.